You've probably heard of large solar towers or solar chimneys used for generating electricity. Well, this is my attempt at making a mini solar tower, what I also refer to as a heat tube. I say attempt because it's not working yet. This video is about where I've gotten to as of June 22nd, 2011. See the description for this video for information about any progress after that. I'll also add some annotations about my progress. Here's how it works. I have a hollow tube called the heat tube. Embedded within the tube is a heat sink. It's exposed to the exterior at one side. It's basically a chunk of metal that will get heated up by the sun. Both ends of the tube are open, and at the top of the tube is a fan which, when something turns it, generates electricity. To make it work, I use a large Fresnel lens to focus sunlight onto the exposed part of the heat sink. That causes the heat sink to heat up. That heats up the air around the heat sink. Hot air rises and exits the tube at the top. That turns the blades of the fan, which then generates electricity. Since hot air is leaving the top, cool air is sucked into the bottom to replace it. This process should keep going on as long as there's sun focused on the heat sink. Since I haven't gotten it working yet, I'll just go quickly through some construction details and some of my experimenting. So here's a big chunk of uh, heat sink, which I got from some electronics store a long time ago and I keep cutting parts out of. And here's a part I cut off just today using a hacksaw. Next thing I did was get a just piece of ABS and I cut a hole in it here that was the size of my uh, piece of heat sink that I cut up. And that way this can fit right in the hole, nice and snug. And if you look at it from the end right there, you can see the heat sink. Okay, that's set nice and hard, really hard. It's, it's excellent. I'd show you what it looks like in through the other side, but I have the fan already connected right here. <laughs> That's just a computer fan. I literally took it from the back of an old computer. So here's my Fresnel lens. I've arranged it horizontally instead of vertically, just waiting for the sun to come out right now. The reason I put the lens vertically is because it's a linear type of Fresnel lens. The focal point for a linear lens is a line and not a round spot. Orienting this lens horizontally orients the line at the focal point vertically like this yellow line. And the heat tube is also a vertical object, so the focal point, or focal line really, will be oriented vertically, just like the tube. Here I am testing version 1, which didn't work out, and as you can see, it had some melting issues. As you see, I got a lot of melting right here and here, um, because the focal length wasn't, uh, focal point wasn't exactly on this, and it's hard to do anyway. So, what I did was I made this reflector out of aluminum flashing, just the quick thing, with some tabs in the back. And the whole idea here is this would attach right there. I stick my uh, finger inside, and I definitely feel cool up there, but if I put my finger up here, then it's, uh, it's hot. So definitely cool air in the bottom and hot air in the top. Okay, I guess you can say this is version 2. I replaced the fan with this cone here. Uh, that way it'll actually increase the pressure as the hot air rises. And right now... You can definitely feel the uh, cool air in the bottom and hot air at the top. But that's about as much as I can say. I stuck this cooking thermometer in here. And... Uh, when I put it in, it's actually touching the uh, metal of the heat sink. As you can see, the temperature is rising quite fast. Okay, the highest I seem to get is around this uh, 65 Celsius, 150 Fahrenheit. Uh, when the cloud comes out, it, it goes down pretty quick and then comes back up pretty quick too. But keeping at the focal length, that's about the highest I get. So, need to move on to version 5. However, for version 5, I won't be getting any sunlight for about a week or so. So version 5 is going to have the heat sink right inside the tube and there's going to be glazing over it. And uh, the reflector is going to be a lot more steeper, so it actually acts uh, less light, well, like a reflector. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like these videos. As I said, I'll put any updates about new versions of this heat tube in the description below and add annotations here for you to click on. And if you don't have access to either of those things, you can look for updates on my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org. So search the uploads for heat tube. In the meantime, you can see videos in the Renewable Energy playlist about solar cooking that I've done with the same Fresnel lens. Have a good one!